Hey guys, John here. Today we're in pigments and let's make something kind of silky and soft and smooth and just pleasant to listen to. And you know, we haven't actually done a lot of the harmonic engine, so let's go to the harmonic engine and have some fun here. So we have this. So first thing I'm going to do is change this parity all the way to the left to get some squares. And then for this shape A here, let's go to notch. Kind of find a nice little medium here. Maybe also engage this low pass a little bit here. Okay, let's change our envelope a little bit here. And bring down some of our sustain. That'd be kind of nice. And then let's bring down our cutoff here and change this to the MS-20 and grab envelope two and kind of just put it on here. Maybe a quicker decay. And we need to be uh, make this a little bit higher pitch here. So maybe an up an octave, something. Turn this up here. Some kind of dreamy. So let's actually change the macro or add the macro for the cutoff and give it a good amount. Maybe something like that. And this is kind of, I mean, it is a cutoff, but let's call this tone because it's kind of more changing the tone, I guess, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's go to the effects here, and the first thing we need to do is kind of just correctively EQ this thing just a little bit, and let's take out that nastiness. And what we all, what we could also do is let's bring these down as well, and then for the next one, let's actually we can actually use another filter for this. Okay, so let's go to multi mode and make this really steep, so thirty six, because there's almost this really top resonance here this guy up here we kind of want to get rid of that a little bit something like that it's kind of there but not as annoying Something kind of like that, kind of pretty. And then for more of the effects, what we could actually do. Let's add a compressor here. Drag down our threshold. And maybe do about like four to one, something kind of like that. Not that much compression. Just a little tickle. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Let's add a little bit of delay. There's some stereo spread. And EQ this a little bit. And I always like to use the Chorus Juno 6. Let's see how this sounds on this guy. Maybe a little less sustain. Okay, so we're almost there. We're almost done here. Let's add some reverb. And also EQ this a little bit here.
what we might actually can do, what might sound kind of interesting, let's try to, on the fine pitch, maybe let's try to add a little bit of a vibrato using the LFO. And we're going to need little amounts here. So let's go to our LFO. And the retrig source is free running, right? So it's always kind of just doing its thing. And then we are going to need to fade this in. We don't want the vibrato to instantly start up. So let's fade this in. And anywhere from maybe, the, like I always say, four to five hertz or something like that. It's kind of a decent range for a vibrato. Maybe more fading. Little, little less depth here, maybe 0 0.04. And let's put res for the second one here, because that kind of does change the tonality a little bit, and we'll give it <laughs> maybe the full amount here. So let's go to res. And while we're here, maybe just browse through some different filters here. I kind of like the MS-20 for this one, because it kind of gets that aggressive sound a little bit. A lot of those higher frequencies are kind of really nice with that. Okay, so we have those. And maybe we can put this on a macro as well. So macro three, because that might be kind of interesting, adding some phase modulation. And okay, that's weird how that moved right there. Let's put this as, I guess, phase mod, something like that. Because it really changes the <laughs> sound of the timbre of that quite a bit. Because it changes it totally from a bell, right? We started off here. And what we actually should do, since we have one more slot here, before we hit the chorus here, or actually right after the compressor, let's put another filter here. So let's go to the multi-filter. And this is what's cool about pigments. We have so many effects slots. So let's change this from a low pass to a high pass and kind of increase the slope pretty significantly. Kind of clean, clean up the sound a little bit. Because without it, we get some of that low end, but I mean, if you have a whole mix going on, you're not really going to notice that stuff, and it's just going to clash with the other stuff in the mix. So right now it's at about 203 hertz or so. You can adjust that to your liking, but let's so we so we have phase mod. Now we need to add the effects here. So EQ, compression are fine, and the filter. So let's kind of leave those alone. And then for the last four, we have our delay, we have our chorus, and then we have our reverb, which is kind of the the trifecta of good stuff. So that's point four, it's 14, so point 0.14. And then we have chorus 28, so point 0.28. And then we have reverb 22%. And let's go down to point 0.22 and increase this all the way up so our effects are working and label it effects. And what's kind of cool is something like this, what might also be fun to do is if you have the sequencer on, you can always turn this on maybe to an ARP or something like that. Maybe not as fast, maybe like one over eight. So that's just something you can do as well if that's something you're interested in. I'll leave it on arpeggio here, arpeggiator here, and then just kind of toggle the software now so it's so you can play note per note. Note per note. So I've done Hell's Bells, so this might more be like Heaven's Bells, right? I, I guess. God, my naming sucks. Okay, so if you want to get Heaven's Bells, then there's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours if you click that. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.